Hello, welcome to another video. Umut here. Uh, today I have some exciting products to share with you. Uh, thanks to them so much. They were uh, sent to me by the Dark Arts. It's a big crafts company in India. So uh, for my friends in India, I think this will be really nice to watch. And they ship worldwide. So you can also uh, see what they have. They have uh, all the brands. Uh, many mixed media supplies uh, that I love I've been using them for a while now and um, so uh, keep watching uh, because I'm going to show you a lot of paints uh, that I love um, so let's start uh, these are you know how much I love paint acrylic paints uh, so these are chalk paints uh, and it's for all surfaces I'm going to show you they they wrote here uh, what it is for with glass, wood, metal, plastic, stone, paper, MDF, uh, canvas, it works on everything and it has a matte finish which is great. It's like a acrylic paint, ultra chalky acrylic paint so I didn't look at it yet but I, I'm guessing it's very matte so I, we're gonna check it together. I'm going to show you the colors and actually I'm going to make a swatch I'll show you how it is and uh, make a swatch and show you all the colors as well um, so uh, there are 26 colors in front of me uh, and I wanted to show you in sets so uh, first maybe I show the blues they have ocean love they look like this and it's really big so it's 150 ml um, generally the acrylic paints are much smaller than this uh, for you to make a price comparison I'm going to give some examples for example this is an Americana it's 17, uh, 59 ml and let's say this dress would be 29 ml actually so it's quite big let me show you also an Arteza. Arteza oh, is 60 ml as well. Just to see um, the size comparison as well. They're all nice paints. Uh, and yeah, the, let's look at the blue uh, colors after we look at the sizes. Uh, and it opens like this. And you lift this so it, it, it prevents the leak. It has another cover underneath and if you lift it of course it's protected it's like this so you can easily use directly with your brush pour it um, etc so it's not stuck in a tube which uh, I really like actually I I don't like so much paint in tube because um, it's um, sometimes you you take it out and you can't put it back uh, so if you watched my craft room tour actually I tend to put the tube paints into jars like small jars so that I can if I don't use them after taking out I can I can put it back <laughs> so this is ocean love it's a turquoise color deep sky blue is one of my favorite colors this is light ultramarine um, light cobalt blue uh, type of color royal blue aging blue nautical blue so it goes darker then we have the pink set the three three pinks pink essence vintage pink and vintage peach so cute i really like them and i'm, I'm going to show you how it looks on paper just wanted to show the bottles first this is vintage morning it's a cheesecake color vanilla color marigold love sunrise hues really nice then we have two browns nutella brown java beans it's not so nice to remind nutella to us all the time is it then we have four greens I, it's something I cannot resist much crushed mint popular viridian um, royal teal and sophisticated pine I think they covered quite a good range of greens then there are reds lipstick red imperial red burning brick 
which is nice as well then we have the metallic ones which i'm curious about because it says matte silver matte gold and matte copper let's see how they are matte um as i said i didn't use them yet i waited for the camera and this is stone gray pitch black of course and then vintage white so now i'm going to make a um let's do this i'm going to put them aside and i'm going to show a few of them to you then make a swatch of swatch off camera i'll take a piece of paper and make a swatch off camera to see how they work and to show you all the colors so let's see I can use the color here I want to see the matteness of it actually and the color is beautiful yeah it's quite nice isn't it it's it's a normal acrylic paint that is matte uh, the heavy body acrylic paints in tubes generally they have a gloss to them that is just their property uh, that's why they are heavy body um, and it's um, I like the mats more because then you can use other mediums on top easier uh, that's my preference so the craft paints mixed media paints are generally matte uh, which is nice let's do a darker color maybe this sophisticated pine to see how green works yeah nice it's very matte hi again here are the colors that i made swatch of my own <laughs> which is a bit messy but these are the pinks peach red brick i love this marigold color actually all the yellows are really nice browns the greens are nice blues and finally gray this is silver but uh, i think it's more like pearl white and gold and copper are beautiful so yeah these are the 26 colors uh, in the range and uh, let's do a page now i have my moleskin journal here in front of me and i'm going to start uh, by applying some paint uh, at the background i took some tones of green uh, there are uh, a few of them and i'm going for a turquoise -ish, uh, look uh, turquoise green and so i'm going to uh, just use the paint like with my brush normally at my background i didn't uh, just on my page uh, but if you're not quick with acrylics uh, i would recommend you gesso uh, so you you use less paint otherwise your paint will quickly uh, sink into the paper and you will have to use more paint and uh, you won't uh, you will have difficulty blending uh, i'm quite familiar sorry with the medium uh, that's why uh, for me it's not such a big deal uh, and i'm using some water uh, spray to manipulate my paint and uh, spread across the page as well that's another option that you can use to uh, use your paint uh, more um, easier uh, I am just mixing a few colors here at the background really uh, actually my first plan was uh, having a lake rock river uh, scenery and I was going to use the water lilies uh, in the Amazonia paper um, paper pad I did the whole yesterday uh, if you haven't seen I'm going to link it down below at the description area check it out Stamperia's uh, new uh, release uh, and uh, I'm going to put the links down below uh, for you to check them out if you want to buy uh, they launched uh, a new uh, paper collection called Amazonia which definitely uh, won my heart big time because I love tropicals so I'm going to use that collection again on my page 
uh, my uh, supplies are from craft stash so i'm going to leave the links down below as well for you to check out they have loads of discounts if you want to uh, benefit from them i'm going to do some background stamping here these are some tribal motifs that i love uh, definitely i think they are perfect for background stamping so i'm using my sepia ink to just stamp at the background here and there uh, it's uh, stamperia stamps are a little bit stiff uh, hard to uh, curl uh, but i am doing it anyway uh, it's not a problem and uh, there are these two uh, stamps as well uh, that i'm going to actually i was going to do background but uh, i thought they looked really nice on the corners and as borders so i'm going to use them as border uh, stamps uh, stamping them all the way uh, across the edges as you see here and i'm going to do it do the same on the other side as well i really love this collection of uh, stamp area uh, i keep saying it but uh, i also got uh, one i forgot the name but with ballerinas uh, that's also really nice uh, these two are my favorites and uh, i am going to make more videos uh, with the ballerina one as well but this amazonia definitely is uh, my uh, all-time favorite i'm going to work on the background a little bit more uh, i'm taking this beautiful stencil that i love and uh, i think it's so versatile there's a big toucan and uh, leaves and script uh, so you can use it for many things i took my uh, beautiful green uh, paint this is like a forest green pine green i think uh, and I'm going, I took my sponge, this is a cheap makeup sponge, I dab it in the paint a little bit and uh, I'm dabbing it over my stencil uh, to uh, have this beautiful uh, texture at the background. Uh, I'm using leaves to uh, kind of uh, make a frame for my uh, journal page uh, and uh, I'm going to use the uh, script as well to have some interest at the background. Uh, as you see it's uh, it's uh, around the tones of the background color so it's not standing out too much but it's creating a beautiful uh, interest at the background if you want you can always use your modeling paste as well uh, if you want more texture uh, if you go for that you need to mix your modeling paste with your paint uh, and you will be good to go uh, at this point I'm not uh, looking to have uh, that much texture then my book becomes so much uh, bulkier so I'm just escaping it uh, a little bit uh, after I finish with this uh, I'm going to work on my focal point uh, and for this one since I did a lot of uh, textures I'm going for a tribal look from my Amazonia uh, 12 by 12 paper pad uh, I took this uh, tribal woman and uh, that's my focal point and some uh, other patterns that are, that are in circular shape I cut them out and uh, just uh, made a cluster of them on the other page uh, so as you see um, my focal point is there but there's a balance using the same sort of elements uh, on the other page I really like how it looks the background is a uh, kind of uh, a beautiful uh, greenish blue uh, color and uh, all the other elements are popping uh, being brown and yellowish uh, over that uh, over that background so there is a nice contrast again I'm using my matte medium to uh, glue down all my elements and uh, I'm going over the uh, elements as well so that I can make some shading around them uh, I'm, I cut out some butterflies from the same uh, paper pad from here and there and I'm going to glue them on the uh, patterns uh, only in the center so that they have a little bit dimension with the uh, wings being up. Uh, I took my uh, Faber-Castell pit brush marker to make uh, the shading around the elements. Uh, so that they don't look like they are cut to add some 3d uh, dimension to them uh, to do this please don't forget uh, to wait or uh, dry your uh, elements properly 
uh, if you touch your marker uh, to glue matte medium uh, you're going to ruin them forever so be careful and they're not cheap uh, I, for my sentiment I uh, I cut out breathe hard breathes breathe hard beats sorry um, from the same paper pad and I placed them on a couple of strips uh, of patterns again so all the elements here are from the Amazonia uh, paper pad again I'm going to link uh, leave the links down below I'm using a, a gel crayon to go around the edges and uh, make some border and I am doing some splashes uh, with brown as well to bring everything together you can do the uh, corners with anything that you have paint, inks, uh, you don't have to go for the same supplies and I'm using my white gel from Arteza to do the uh, highlights on my images and I think I call this page done uh, I really love it uh, I think the uh, tribal feeling definitely comes through I love the colors too. I hope you enjoyed it too. Uh, and if you did, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button or leave a comment to me. That's how I know. And don't forget to follow me over Instagram where I share more and more uh, from uh, my projects uh, earlier than YouTube. Because it's easier. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye.